Skyrim is one of those games that just never goes away. It's been out for over a decade, yet people continue to play it to this day and keep discovering new wonders. One person took their fandom to the next level by creating an actual necklace for the game's 11th anniversary. Today's video discusses the Skyrim necklace and everything in the new game's anniversary edition. So keep watching. First off, the amazing Skyrim necklace. The Elder Scrolls V is arguably one of the greatest games, so of course it's also got a massive fan base. The Skyrim fandom is so dedicated that we've seen hundreds of mods and even full games. For instance, if you didn't already know, The Forgotten City, which is one of the best games of last year, actually started as a Skyrim mod. Like that's the sort of power it has, almost approaching Half-Life 2 levels. You know what's even more impressive though? When people carve real life stuff inspired by the game. We've seen all sorts of stuff, including some amazing Dragonborn cosplays, iconic weapons like the Wuthrad, and of course, live role-playing events with dozens of people. Still, the fact that everyone's still so dedicated to the game after over a decade is pretty spectacular. Oh, and guess what? It will not stop anytime soon either, because a dedicated fan got an actual Skyrim necklace for his girlfriend. The pendant, carved out of polished walnut wood, has the game's iconic logo on it with the dragon. But that's not even the most impressive thing about it. The guy commissioned a professional called Laser Gadgets on Reddit to get this thing done, and it's pretty apparent what they specialize in from their username. Yep, we've got lasers. Up next, Reddit users can't help but praise the necklace. Alright, they're not technically lasers, but hey, at least they light up. Now the necklace has some sort of pigment inside that makes it glow at all times. Oh, and it looks incredible with the dark blue light emanating from it. Besides, it's pretty on brand because it looks like some conjurer's magic has awakened the souls trapped in the pendant. Okay, maybe that was too far, but still, the point is, this thing is very impressive. And even though we've seen people make a ton of other great Skyrim inspired stuff, this one's up there. Imagine being the person receiving this though. We're already drowning in envy. The same can be said for other Reddit users under the post too, as they all gathered up to gaze at this pendant's glory like Azura followers. Also, there were some cheeky references from the game as well. One user, for instance, asked if the artist had forged the item on the Ethereum Forge, while another person, who just wanted to get their hands on it, said they needed to level up their sneak skill to 100 and steal it from the artist's home. It was as wholesome as community Reddit posts can be, which shows how welcoming Skyrim fans are. What's more, fans want to buy the necklace for themselves. Whenever you see a pro making a dope video game, you have to ask, can I get one made for myself too? Well, for now, probably not. Laser Gadget is friends with the person who commissioned this, which is why it's a one-off project. Still, since everyone's been showing interest under the original post, an actual pendant line isn't out of the question. The Reddit user hasn't stopped responding to people who are truly serious about buying a piece for themselves. So, all you have to do is head over to r slash Skyrim post and spam them with many comments. Also, just imagine the possibilities with this cool glowing tech. You could get the iconic Dark Brotherhood logo or the shadow mark symbols used by the Thieves Guild. There's so much iconography in the game that you could turn it into a real life wearable item and have it instantly recognizable. Not to mention, Laser Gadget isn't the only person making this sort of stuff, as we've seen countless other artists on Etsy and other places selling some pretty dope things. Such is the power of Skyrim though, and since we're years away from whatever Bethesda is doing with The Elder Scrolls 6, we don't see it going away anytime soon either. Let's look at the differences between Skyrim's anniversary and special editions. First up, why does Skyrim even need these new versions? The Elder Scrolls 5 has been a mainstay in pop culture for so long that you can lose track of time. Like, believe it or not, the game is 11 years old. Oh, and for reference, Minecraft was just starting back then, and the PlayStation 4 wasn't even a thing yet. So yeah, this is an Xbox 360 era game. So if you think GTA 5 has overstayed its welcome, all you have to do is talk to an Elder Scrolls fan for some support. Skyrim was made to run on those old consoles, so the game still looked dated when the PS4 and Xbox One came out. The timeless art style has become iconic as the years have rolled by. But still, in terms of pure visuals, yeah, there's some room for improvement. Now for PC users, it's easy. You just download some graphical mods and turn your game into an ultra-realistic dragon slaying simulation. Console players, on the other hand, aren't so lucky, so they had to wait for Bethesda to sort out the situation and give them a proper remaster for the game. Now for the special editions, this is where the special edition of the game comes in. Released in 2016, this variant was meant as a graphical upgrade that upped the visuals and the resolution and boosted the frame rates. And honestly, it was almost like defogging your glasses. Everything got crisp, new high-res textures, and even some other visual stuff was upgraded. For instance, we finally got those sweet god rays piercing through 
through the trees as you walk through the forest. Plus, even reflections got a bump, so you could finally see your stealth archer, Khajiit, in a pond. Oh, and then there were three amazing expansions too. Seriously, you're missing out if you haven't played Dongard, Dragonborn, or Hearthfire. However, the biggest change in the special edition was the ability to play around in the Creation Club and download mods on a console. Sure, these were usually approved by Bethesda, so no wacky anime stuff or Thomas the Tank Engine Dragons. Oh, and for some reason, they weren't free. Yeah, we know, it's Oblivion Horse Armor DLC. Still, the fact that you could do any of these things on a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One was revolutionary. Sadly, only a few other devs took inspiration from this step, so only Bethesda games have this sort of mod support. Coming up, the Anniversary Edition. Okay, the Special Edition made sense because we needed a remaster for the game. What's the point of this bad boy though? Even though the Skyrim Anniversary Edition seems like a cash grab, Bethesda isn't milking the franchise here. The value proposition, especially if you haven't played the game for a while. For instance, remember all those mods they added with the Creation Club and how you had to buy them? You get 74 of the best mods included in the package. Oh, and these aren't just minor things that change the color of grass or something. Instead, the creations encompass over 500 new individual elements to the game, including new locations, armor, weapons, and even quests. That said, there's one big zinger here that's better than everything else on the list. Yep, it's fishing. Thanks to the Anniversary Edition, Skyrim is finally a complete RPG experience where you can sit next to a pond and fish for five hours. Moreover, since it came out in 2021, this package has been available on almost all modern platforms, including Xbox, PS5, and even the Nintendo Switch. Finally, which version should you get? We get it. Having a bazillion mods installed simultaneously can get a bit overwhelming. Besides, there's nothing inherently wrong with the vanilla Skyrim experience. You should probably get the special edition if you've never touched the game before and somehow missed out on it. We can't deny the sheer value that comes with the anniversary edition. Sure, it may not be super cheap on video game storefronts. Then again, thanks to such a wide swath of content, it's all worth it. Oh, and of course, you can still turn off the mods and cruise through the game for an authentic experience. At the end of the day though, they're both perfectly valid versions of Skyrim. And honestly, you just need to stop thinking and play the game already. That's a wrap for this video. Do you want to get your hands on the gorgeous Skyrim necklace? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.